Hello, hope you're doing marvellously well. We're going to do five vocal mixing tips. Please, as ever, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and you'll be notified when we have a new video up. Okay, so let's get started. Tip number one is saturation. Saturation I love because it emulates what a console used to do and what analog used to do in general, which is basically add a lot of harmonics, a lot of distortion, a lot of things that made the signal feel fatter, made the vocal feel bigger, make it more exciting. The wonderful thing about digital is everything's perfectly clean. The worst thing about digital is everything's perfectly clean. So, as you can see, I've created a specific vocal sub here that's got a lo-fi plugin on it. This is what comes free with Pro Tools. You can use any kind of saturation you like, but I'm gonna use this because, like I said, it comes free. What I like about this specific plugin is it has a distortion control and a saturation control, which could be considered to be the same thing, but if you listen to the distortion here. Don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. If I turn up the saturation, it's dark. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna. So somewhere in the middle is a good balance. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. I kind of like that. Now, underneath here, where it says lead vocal sub, I have the lead vocal being compressed and EQ'd, etc. You know, in a much cleaner way. Let's put the two together. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. Now, I'm going to mute here, and we're going to listen to it without. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never going to be in your back pocket. Now put it in. Get out of here, turn around. Spit your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy Off. for liars. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. A I'm too never much. gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. Spit your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy for liars. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. So it's quite a nice little technique to just kind of give it just a little bit more edge. I'm, I'm inclined to go for a little bit more distortion, a little less saturation like this and listen to it again if i don't hit the spot give you chills make you hot i'm never gonna be in your back pocket now clean it st sounds fantastic if i don't hit the spot give you chills make you you put on this saturation it makes it just a little bit edgier if i don't hit the spot it also evens it out a little bit because of course all the transients now are being squashed together a little bit more that's the great thing about using saturation and distortion. Okay, next up is slap delay. Okay, so let's create a new channel. I'm gonna do it in mono. You can do it in stereo, but I'm just gonna do it in mono. We'll call it, of course, slap delay. And I'm not going to, I'm going to find something really simple and generic that you will have. Um, so if we go for uh, the short delay here, which comes standard in Pro Tools. So whatever your DAW is, I'm sure there's a standard short delay you can use. And this is already set to 23 milliseconds. It's, sent to, it's set to 50%, but I'm going to make it 100% effect. So we'll set the input as 29. Come out here, and I'm doing this very slowly to illustrate it, but you know, a lot of people uh, always tell me that they do it much faster on their DAWs, and I totally understand. Okay, here we go. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot, I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around, spit your game at the ground, ain't got no sympathy for liars. If so it's, there's no feedback, so it's just one delay and it's very close. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around, spit your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy for liar. It's a nice effect. Now I can go for a longer delay time. 
Maybe come up. I don't know, let's go up to maximum. This is 38 minutes. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. A little bit of feedback. Get your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy for liars. With the distortion. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. Take them both off. Game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy for liars. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. Spit your so it just adds some interesting effect to it. It definitely makes it feel a little bit more rock and roll, a little less pop, a little bit more indie, because this is an indie pop band. Also, what we can do, of course, is we could actually put distortion with that. So we get this. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be your back So that's a delayed, distorted sound. Saturated, slap delay. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never now there's tape delays on the market. There's the Kramer tape that we all know and love. There's lots, um, you know, Slate make them a lot of people. Um, last week we talked about the new um, Mac DSP delay. There's lots of ones you can use to get great ones. I just went to that because it's free with Pro Tools. So just to prove to you that you can use free plugins with your DAWs. Okay, next up is the lower octave. This is the one that usually scares people. So let's scare some people. Okay, so what am I doing with the lower octave? This is going to terrify you. Here we go. I don't hit the spot. What is he doing? Hear it again! I don't hit the spot. Give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Yeah, okay, so, again, generic, comes free with your DAW. One octave down, set to 100% mix, again on an auxiliary. You can see I've gone minus 12 semitones. Um, or minus 8 VA there, one octave down. I've got a gate in here which is just cutting off S's and breaths. They don't need octaves on them. S's and breaths do not need octaves. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Cool. So, and then last but no means least, I'm rolling off the high end. I do not need the high end in it. This is just to add warmth to the vocal, add some body to it. It's a girl singer and I'm trying to give her some rah, don't, you know. So obviously it's ridiculously loud if I bring it in with just the main vocal sub. If I don't hit the spot, it sounds terrible. Give you chills make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. Spit your game at the ground. Ain't the track. no sympathy for liars. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back Put pocket. distortion. Get out of Delay. here, turn around. Spit your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy. Liars. If I don't hit the spot. This is not all of these together in this kind of load is definitely not like a pop vocal, but it's taking a song like this, which is pretty a, much a pop song, and making it a bit more indie, a bit more hit alternative. The spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. Spit your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy for liars. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Great. You can see all of these things are really, really super fun. They give you loads of different things and ways of making your vocal sound more interesting. Okay, so here's a tip that I do all the time. This one, uh, mastering engineers do this when they're mastering tracks. You boost the high end and then control it with DS's. So, so here's my main vocal sub that I've highlighted. I've got a DSA. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out. She's barely doing anything on this section because she's not wailing. Set very subtly. Then I've got an EQ, got a low pass. But here's here's the secret. Here I've got some high boost EQ going on. 
If I don't hit the spot, I turn it off. Make you hot. It's a little gara. Gonna be in your back pocket. Here's the secret. There's a DS. You hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. See, the DS is coming in there, and I've got an REQ, an EQ going into a DS. So I'm brightening the whole vocal but then I'm de it so that it doesn't just exaggerate the S's. Because of course, there's certain sounds like s, -s, -s and consonants t -t 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 are going to be really exaggerated by brightening that. So it's a great way to take a vocal, brighten it, and then control it with de -essing. I do it all the time. And like I say, mastering engineers do it a lot, but they do it in gradual amounts. So let's repeat that same move. So I'm gonna duplicate that REQ over here. You hot. I'm never gonna be in it's definitely bright to the whole vocal. And then let's take the deesser and you guessed it. You hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. So now the whole vocal feels more airy, more bright, but the S's and the T's aren't exaggerated. So it's gradual amounts, boosting the high end, controlling of the deesser, boosting the high end again, controlling of the deesser. It's a great trick and it will get your vocal brighter without it sounding harsh. Let's have a listen in the track with everything on that we've done. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. I'm never gonna be in your back pocket. Get out of here, turn around. Spit your game at the ground. Ain't got no sympathy for liars. See what I mean? It's making it indie. It's a very pop melody, but now it's you know, just a little bit edgier, a bit more exciting, a bit more you can imagine on Sirius Alt Nation or one of those kind of radio stations. So tip number five, don't be afraid to use different effects in different parts of the song. So very, very often I'll have multiple reverbs and delays, etc., going on. So let's talk about here, I've got a tiled room. If I don't hit the spot, give you chills, make you hot. And that's just a 0.65 of a second. If I don't hit the spot. And that's featured more heavily there. When I get to the chorus, so I've got this that we created recently, which is a crystallized delay going into, which is like 50% because it's part delay, part clean, going into an air reverb. And the reverb room size is pretty big. It's like two seconds. So a lot significantly bigger. Seas, lay me down. I know sleaze that you found. Think you're gonna pull your... Why is that? Because in this section here, listen. It's super, super dense. There's a lot of stuff going on there. So when it comes to like reverbs and delays and all kinds of other stuff, don't be afraid to use different reverbs and different delays in different sections in different amounts. Um, many, many mixers I know, in fact, pretty much everybody uses at least two or three reverbs at once and they'll just blend them to taste. Two or three delays. Um, I mean, you can get away with one delay or one reverb if you're doing like a, a 50s kind of, uh, you know, rockabilly sound. Maybe you'll want something like a, a slap vocal that's super loud and that's fine. But if you want to like have choice, then and the ability to kind of push the feel of the song in different ways and manipulate it in different ways, don't be afraid to have multiple effects going on. I've got a third reverb here, for instance, as we'll just talk about, uh, which is a D verb, which is set to 4.5 seconds, which is huge, and that cranks in the chorus. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, that's... That there really illustrates like how big that you can make it here. So don't be afraid to use multiple different effects and just blend them on your vocals. Hopefully that all helps. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. This song is actually one I did in a course with Bob Horn. So you can check out that course if you like. There'll be a link below. Of course, please go to producelikeapro.com, sign up for the email list and you get a whole bunch of free goodies. Uh, which include drum samples, free videos, tons of multi-tracks, and there's an amazing community in there. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.